Hello everybody, I'm Jeffrey Przinski, and I'm going to get Star Trek Starfleet Academy working for the Mac. Now since the last uh, video I did, I actually decided to get a new Mac. My Mac uh, that I was playing uh, Star Trek Starfleet Academy with was all the way back from 2009. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm now running Mac OS Sierra and I got the new 2016 MacBook Pro, the one with the touch bar, the 15 inch one as well. Uh, I decided to go with the upgraded um, uh, video card inside there as well, giving me four gigabytes of RAM on that, so that way these games would appear even, uh, uh, even more smooth. But uh, enough about that. Let's get back to getting this Windows game working for the Macintosh computer. Unfortunately, this game had so many bugs in it when it was released that they released just two more patches and uh, there's a little bit of a, I guess you could say like a controversy going on about this game because uh, as soon as this game was released, the development team was all told uh, that they uh, were being let go or moved to different projects. Uh, so that they left really just a skeleton crew to get this game working again and it kind of it's difficult getting it to work on some systems. But I was able to get this working. So if you follow these steps, you should be able to achieve it as well. Number one, uh, I tried actually installing this from the CDs. However, there seems to be some sort of hang up when, um, when, uh, when you try to do the installation process. So, uh, I actually started doing some searching on the web and it turns out that there's like issues with the new versions of DirectX and and that there has to be like some sort of changes applied to the code. Now instead of doing all of that, there's somebody else who already went out there and I want to give a shout out to oldgames.com. Uh, if you go to oldgames.com, as you can see on the screen right here, you can see that the um, they have something called download easy setup is right here. What that means is that it's going to install just like normal. However, on the spots where it says, hey, you need to take out CD1 and put CD2 in instead, you don't have to worry about that anymore. It will automatically switch to CD2, 3, 4, 5, and, well, as you can see here, all six CDs. All right, so one other thing to note we were able to get this running in crossover 15.3.1. It's the one just before the new 16.0 release. I've been working with the crossover team to see if we can make uh, this better for, or uh, not lose the compatibility with this game for version 16 and up, and uh, we're still in the process of making that work. But you can still download version 15.3.1 without issue right now from Crossover, uh, which is codeweavers.com. All right, so once you, go, once you download this over here, you go ahead, run the standard installation setup, and I believe I have this listed under a Windows uh, ME. Let me just check, double check my configuration here. Oh, it's actually Windows 98. So make sure when you come into here, set your ver or Windows version to Windows 98. That way it'll install perfectly. And then you'll have, uh, instead of having ka.exe uh, as your uh, uh, runtime, or I'm sorry, executable, you have something called start the game. That start the game will load up all the CDs and basically just get you ready to go ahead and uh, have fun with the game. All right, well, we're ready to leave Starfleet Academy and play Star Trek Klingon Academy. See you in the next video.